This is Twit. Um, there is an article talking about smart things, that platform embracing the edge and DIYers. So what does that mean? Well, let me read a little bit from Stacy here. A little more than a year after announcing major changes to the platform, smart things has rolled out what it calls smart things edge, turning the smart home automation platform into something DIYers should love. The platform gives priority to local automation and lets users build and then share their own device handlers that will run on a hub. So what does this mean? It means that folks are going to be able to use their uh, hub locally on their network and then also build out kind of integrations with different devices. So it's a little akin to what you get if you turn a Raspberry Pi into a HomeBridge uh, yeah. hub that works with HomeKit. This is going to be a lot like that. This is going to use um, all of the, the because we talked before about how the cool thing about smart things is that it's not its own special protocol. It's got a bunch of different radios in it. It's got Zigbee, Z-Wave, and of course supports Wi-Fi. And uh, I think that it's added even more since then. And so all of those are built into it and should be able to control uh, different devices that have those radios built in. And so this is going to be uh, that exactly. It'll be a way to um, use the smart things uh, edge hub with uh, different devices. So I am really excited about this. Uh, this yeah. will make me, this is going to have me getting a uh, smart things hub for sure. Um, Cause I want to see what's possible with it. Yeah. It's like, I just didn't expect this at all, especially when we were just talking about it last week. I'm curious what it means just in terms of Samsung's involvement going for, like, obviously they still own it, but I'm just trying to figure out, are they going to have any sort of special priority or association, or if it's just kind of like run as a subsidiary or so, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but the language that they're using is change for it. So I was listening to Stacy's podcast actually, and they were talking about how it's just easier to write in and things like that. Um, but this is definitely interesting. I like the just the the platform beyond the main, like beyond it being tied to your phone, basically. In many ways, um, I guess Amazon's isn't really, but it seems very tangential at least. So these are like more pure home automation platforms, especially when it's not just like, oh, we decided to shut down the platform, so now you can no longer use it. It's now people can at least build it themselves, which is which is great. And I think they were saying if it has a mix of online and off and local control stuff, if you just don't have access to the internet, those that stuff just won't work, but the other stuff still would, which is good. So this seems like the best news for <laughs> uh are the person who is sending in the feedback because that is just like, oh yeah, well, um, good news for smart things. Mm -hmm. um, very exciting stuff. And again, I am looking forward to checking that out and seeing how it works. Again, anytime we talk about local control of stuff, I am always on board, always loving it. I think that Rosemary yeah. Orchard is the only person who's able to make uh, non-local automations work reliably <laughs> in the entire universe. Uh, all the rest of us seem to be stuck uh, with with sort of dysfunctional um, server-side automations that don't reliably run as we want them to. 